I am delighted to welcome our first speaker, Dipanjan Shah Saha, sorry, who will be presenting his uh, three-minute thesis, Developing Superior Alloy Contacts to Enable Graphene Technology. Welcome. Graphene is one of the greatest materials known to man. A 2D sheet of carbon, just one atom thick, it has the potential to the electronics industry. We can make all kinds of electronics, like better memory for more powerful computers, new kinds of sensors, flexible electronics, and wearable electronics. Now, one of the major roadblocks to graphene nanotech development is that we need better contacts. Contacts to more efficiently inject electrons into our graphene devices to power them, and more efficiently remove heat that can build up in the graphene through device operation. Now, the existing research community has primarily focused on pure metal contacts, none of which have been good enough both thermally and electrically. The focus of my PhD research has been looking into alloy contacts, because alloys can have very different properties than their parent elements. Now, when it comes to designing an alloy, what elements do you use? How much of each element do you use? It's an overwhelming number of potential combinations. Well, over the course of my PhD, years of painstaking research looking at different alloys and learning a lot about the alloy design, I've been able to repeatedly show that 10% palladium and nickel gives us a better thermal contact measurement than what's been previously reported. My hypothesis for why this particular alloy is so special is that when we deposit the metals, the palladium and nickel atoms should be randomly distributed amongst each other. But when we add a little bit of heat, According to literature for this particular alloy composition, the palladium and nickel atoms actually want to separate. So palladium atoms will move and try to cluster with other palladium atoms. Nickel atoms will move to be with other nickel atoms. And any nickel atom that's in contact with the graphene that moves should take carbon with it because nickel is known to bind very, very tightly to carbon. And in the vacancy that gets left behind in the graphene, now a different metal atom can come and sit effectively making what is known as an edge contact to the graphene. And this is very different than those previous pure metal studies that only made contact with the graphene's top surface. If this is what's happening, it's really exciting as a potential electrical contact based on existing electrical edge contact studies with graphene. But whereas those edge contact studies involved really complex processes that are not industry scalable, our process is really simple. You just deposit from an alloy source, add a little bit of heat, and there you go. You've got an edge contact. In the coming months, I'll be doing these electrical edge contact measurements to see if this hypothesis is correct. And if it is, then 10% palladium and nickel should make a better contact both thermally and electrically to graphene and be the key to unlocking the future, our future, of graphene technology. Thank you. <laughs> 